Leo. Hi Leo, this is Daisy, aka the Professional High Priestess, and I'm here to do your February 2020 reading, okay? There's some commotion going on outside, huh? Leo, maybe you have a lot of chaos going on in your life right now. Um, all right, messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and North Node. Messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and North Node. They, they all came out at the same time. Leo, I feel like what is going on here with you is someone maybe trying to come rush in to make you an offer for, for something long-term and stable after playing games, after being reckless, after not taking a leap of faith, after not putting any effort or vitality or energy into the relationship with the sun card. Now they want to expose how they feel because they feel like you bring them happiness, enlightenment, etc. With the six of wands here, Leo, this could be something that you may have wanted for a while, but now from what I'm seeing here, it's like you're not really interested with the Ten of Pentacles being here in reverse. I also see that someone could be having issues with like disputes over inheritances or over money, etc. That's going to be something happening in February 2020. There's also going to be the end of a long-term relationship here or maybe a, a big financial loss here. What is the six of uh, wands for Leo? Six of wands for Leo? With the Wheel of Fortune. So Leo, you're going to experience some victory and um, an ability to move forward towards your goals, aspiration, your fate, and your destiny here with the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune being here. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Virgo or another Leo. What is the full card for Leo? Someone wants to take a leap of faith, Leo, and come towards you with the Ace of Cups being here to have a new beginning and a new offer. But I don't think you're interested, Leo. I feel like you're, you're done. You don't want to be a part of this with the Sun card. You're lacking vitality and interest in the situation. It was what you wanted in the past with the Six of Wands being here and the Wheel of Fortune. This was fate. This was destiny. But I feel like something happened here. Just like I'm good. What's the Knight of Cups for Leo? with the king of cups yeah a man a water sign cancer pisces scorpio they want to come offer you love and emotions etc but i don't feel like you're interested leo with the sun card being here they're going to share to share and tell you everything how they feel but i don't think you're interested anymore with the knight of wands here you've lost passion what's the knight of wands yeah with the seven of cups being here i feel like you start you, you took off the rose colored glasses about this person you started to see them for who they are very self-centered inconsiderate emotionally immature and you you took out those rose colored glasses and you cut and you're done now you're moving forward on the wheel of fortune towards something bigger better and greater for you no more stagnation no more chaos no more second guessing no more wondering no more waiting for a new new beginning and it's not coming no more dealing with knights when you really deserve emperors okay or empresses what's the sun the six of swords yeah someone has guilt here as well um for whatever was caused within the situation someone does not want to move forward with whatever this is here take it how it resonates could be you or the person you're dealing with but someone wants to come in with an apology and they're rushing in to bring it but like i said leo I, you've lost passion for this person you no longer care you're no longer interested it's done with the wheel of fortune being here Fate has stepped in and is going to be moving you forward into something new. With the Ace of Cups being here as well, you're going to have a new beginning. You're going to be taking a leap of faith. And this person's going to have to deal with their guilt with the Six of Swords here. They're going to have to deal with that for the rest of their life. Ten of Pentacles, that they lost something solid, secure, long-term. Because they wanted to be in Seven of Cups energy, probably having a whole bunch of options, a bunch of holes all over the place, playing around, being immature, being narcissistic. You made up your bed, not laying it. Messages for Leo, Sun, Rising, Mercury, and North Node. Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo, someone rising Mercury and North Node. Yep. Then you have the completion card here as well, signifying it's the end and it landed right on the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever this is, it's done, Leo. You're moving forward into something new. Wheel of Fortune is turning. Um, you're going to be getting your just due. All right. With the confusion card being here as well, I feel like, like I said, Seven of Cups and the... Um, the, and the confusion card being here, this you may have t been confused about this person, not seeing them straight for who they are. Okay, take it how it resonates or vice versa. The person you were dealing with, they could have been wrapped up with someone or they, they were wearing rose-colored glasses. They didn't see this person for who they are, right? Because of impasse, like they were at a standstill 
in terms of what direction to take. And that's okay because a decision was made for them with the Wheel of Fortune here. Now it's done. You don't have to do it. Could be dealing with the Gemini because I see two doubles here. Okay. An Aries. Another Leo, like I said. Virgo. Hmm. Yeah. This person has a lot of confusion. Maybe they drink too much. Maybe they're, they're just prone to delusions. And because of that, you're like, I don't, I don't want to be involved in this. You took off the rose-colored glasses. You lost passion for it, vitality for it, and you kept on, you kept it pushing. I'm done. Messages for um, messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. Someone rising, Mercury, and North Node. So you got um, hematite groundedness. It says, I'm solidly grounded. No matter what is happening around me, I remain stable and secure. Yeah. Because this person, may, there could have been a lot of turmoil back and forth, up and down, volatility, temperance reverse with this person, right? Um, now it's saying, like, you're grounded and you see things for what they are and your, your feet are on the ground. Now you can move forward in a practical manner. Malachite healing. It says, I release all blockages to my well-being. Perfect health is restored to me now. Someone could also be sick or you could have, like I said, with the sun card here, some, like that's loss of vitality, loss of energy. Someone is going to be experiencing that in the month of February, okay? And a lot of some financial losses too. But from what I'm seeing here, this person caused it for themselves. Be careful what is said on social media. I feel like it could cause like a argument, fight, battle, etc. All right, Leo. So those are the messages that I have for you for uh, February 2020. Okay. Again, if you need a reading, go ahead and check the description box below. All the information that you need is there. But Leo, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, my name is Daisy, aka the Professional High Priestess. Thank you. Bye.